We are right at the doorstep of the 11th of the 11th and friend, there is power in number synchronicities. There is power in the great celestial body that lies above us. There are power in dates and angel numbers and the energy right now as we lead in to the 11th of the 11th opens a portal of opportunity for you to make the rest of your life the best of your life. For you to finally break the mold, get out of the doldrums and set your whole world on fire. This will be a season of ease and flow for you and if you want to tap in, can I remind you of something? Something to be mindful of in the lead up to this explosive energy, you will feel it. You will feel it resonating on the inside of you as we cross the 11th of the 11th in just a day or two's time, friend. It's time to be prepared. It's time to make this your season. Let's get going. Hello friend, welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben. I'm here every single day talking about living your best life, manifesting your dreams and how to make them come true. Today is no different, but it's just a short video. Before we kick into it, can I extend a very warm welcome to all of our visitors? If you are new, wave, say hi. Tell me where you're from. I'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments section. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, friend. I'm here every day, I never miss a day, encouraging you to come up higher, showing you ways to live your very best life. And today is just a short energy update. As we cross into the 11th in just a couple of days time, I wanted to remind you about something. See, what always tends to happen when the energy starts to escalate around us, and it doesn't matter whether it's through a seasonal alignment, it doesn't matter whether it's through uh, coming together with a group of friends, it doesn't matter whether it's going to a sporting event or a concert, it doesn't matter whether it's attending a funeral, it doesn't matter whether it's astrology, or a, it doesn't matter, friend. When energy starts building, something always happens. And there are those who recognize it and see it. And there are those who fall victim to it. They don't see it. And so they have to go around the same mountain all over again. But friend, if you want to move forward, if you want this to be the very beginning of the doorway to your own promised land, can I encourage you to be exceptionally mindful of mindfulness over the coming days? You say to me, Ben, what does that even mean? Well, what is the definition of mindfulness, friend? What does it mean to you? See, mindfulness is simply the act of observation. To be mindful is not to mind your own business. To be mindful is not to think on things and judge them. To be mindful actually is the polar opposite of that. When you stand in mindfulness... The very place you stand is in the mantle of all of your authority and power. See, to be mindful means that we observe without judgment. We don't label. We don't look at a person or a situation or a potential for an outcome and say, Ooh, that's really bad. What can I do to manage that? We don't look at something that's happened in our past and label it and say, That was such a hurtful time. We just observe it. It's not bad. It's not even good. It just is. When you allow things to be just as they are, when you allow people to be just as they are, with all of their imperfections and all of their faults, when you allow them the space and the dignity of their own journey, and when you do that for yourself, what you do is give that person or yourself the greatest gift anyone could ever give to you. See, it's the space to move through that really, really solidifies the inner work. So many people, they work on themselves, but they don't create space to integrate what it is that they've learned. It's no good knowing how to observe your thoughts if every time something triggers you, you go straight back into emotional reaction and thinking. It's time to come up higher. In this season, when the energy is escalating, in these next few days, you will sense it. There will be opportunities for you to start calling things, places, events, even people, good and bad. That person was a jerk. They really upset me. 
Don't do it, friend. Don't label it. Give them the space for their journey. You concentrate on your own inner work. Oh, I'm really worried about this potential outcome. That could be devastating, you know. Don't label it, friend. It is what it is. Are you safe in the hands of the universe? Do you really believe it when you say, no doubt the universe is unfolding just as it should? There should be no contraction on the inside when you stand in faith and say, no doubt the universe is unfolding just as it should, even though I don't understand it. Even though I don't even see it, I know through faith and faith alone it's working. And when you stand there, that is when things begin to shift. If you want to maximize the energy that is about to happen upon us, it is important that you remain mindful. There will be opportunities for you over the coming days to go down the rabbit hole of dysfunction. There will be opportunities for you to receive hurt and offense, and no one would blame you. There is opportunity upcoming for you to put labels on things and call people and their actions good and bad. Don't do it. Focus inwards. Focus all of your energy, attention on your own journey and take the labels off. Just allow. This is the season for allowing. It's not bad. It's not good. It just is. Just allow, friend. I can't tell you enough. Be mindful of the energy. Be mindful as you look around and observe your life and you narrate the story of your life. Be mindful with the words that you use, with the energy that you approach people and things with. Because the same energy with which you approach something or someone is the same energy that is always reflected back to you. No fighting. No fighting in the next couple of days. Peace. Calmness, carry that with you. When you feel the resistance on the inside, when you feel it burning, when you just want to give someone a piece of your mind and you would be well entitled to do so, the rest of your days are worth biting your tongue. A closed mouth gathers no foot, my friend. Be mindful of your words, your actions and the thoughts that you think over the coming days. Don't judge them as good and bad. Just allow them to be and be the witness. When you witness rather than experience, you begin to identify things that previously you could not see. This is where intuition is built. This is where your gift starts to serve you and make way for you. You've heard me tell you so many times, my friend, it is your gift that makes way for you. This is how to hone the skill of that gift. This is how to crank up the volume of your spiritual ear and catapult yourself light years ahead in your journey. Now I love you. I'm thankful for you. Make sure, friend, that you share this video with someone. There's only a couple of days away, and if you're not mindful, to be mindful. If you're not careful with your words and the labels you put on things, you will go around the same mountain of dysfunction and you'll have to try all over again. But if you get it right, this is where you come up higher. I know it's true. I love you. See you tomorrow.